<clears throat> check, check. Yeah, what up, players? Welcome to episode 58 of the Player One Podcast. I'm your host, Tyrone Jr., a.k.a. Hollywood Champa. If this is your first time tuning in, what up, player? If you've been here before and you decided to return, welcome back, player. I appreciate you all. This episode is also brought to you by Seasoned Goods, Vegan Candles, use code PLAYER1, all lowercase. Get you, I believe it's 15% off for the first so many customers. I don't know how many, but I think it's 15% off and then it drops to 10. So if you want to get a late Valentine's Day gift, you realize your Valentine's is not your Valentine's or it should have been someone else, you get them a backup gift, you know, season good, get you right. This episode is also brought to you by Star Dog Behavior. Anybody in Dallas, Texas with a badass dog, take your dog to my boy Joey. He's going to get them right. Uh, this episode is going to be a record-setting episode. We are going less than eight minutes. I have the music queued up to come in at like six and a half minutes. We are already a minute and a half in. Uh, I'm going to keep it short and sweet, man. We're going to see how this goes. I'm testing out some new strategies on the to get these playbacks and i ain't trying to take too much of your time but man we just had the super bowl i enjoyed it for the most part i enjoyed the halftime we're gonna talk about the halftime uh we're gonna keep it traditional roundup would you rather and then story time with hollywood uh so for the roundup let's talk let's talk the super bowl man uh the commercials. I know everybody's heart stopped when that Tubi commercial came on. That was a great commercial. It, it acted as if the dudes were talking about the game, like we came back from commercial. And then it seemed as if somebody grabbed the remote and tried to turn on Mr. and Mrs. Smith, which is a cool, cool movie. Great movie. But I was at the crib. I, was, I watched the game at the crib. I didn't feel like going nowhere. Because I'm staying home. I'm just... I didn't even drink. I, I, this was the most chill Super Bowl setting I've ever been in. And I will say, I enjoyed that a lot. I'm going I'm to touch back on that whole like Super Bowl setting for the Would You Rather. But that Tubi commercial messed me up. I was like, hey, ho, ho, where my, where my remote? We don't even have Tubi. How is this happening? That was a good one. But my favorite commercial was the flag football one. Uh, I think it came on right after halftime, right after the performance, where uh, there was a chick, she plays in the flag football league, and then they had all these like NFL players and special guests who were trying to grab her flag, and she was just running through the crowds and stuff, and running, running, and then she gets home, and she's like, mom, I made it, it was so crazy outside, and the mom's like, oh, come give me a hug, and then the mom tried to grab the flag too, that was, that was dope, uh, that was my favorite commercial. Um, but that's that. The Super Bowl, I enjoyed it. It was cool. The halftime performance. We're going we gonna to segue into this next segment. Would you rather? As I'm going to ask, would you rather this or that? Red pill, blue pill. You tell me your answers in the comments. You guys have been doing a great job. I appreciate y'all who have been dropping comments on the YouTube. Um, and even if you follow on Twitter, Instagram, you guys have also been responsive and through text by just giving me your answers and we just have slight conversation about the episodes. I appreciate all the feedback, honestly. Um, but for the would you rather, this goes from my setting. I was at the home. I was at home watching the game. I had the music all the way up, the speakers all the way up. I had the surround sound turned up uh, for Rihanna's concert. And usually I like to dance and sing along especially if I'm at home and something like I was watching for quarantine when they were doing those verses, I was turning up at the crib music loud and I'm standing in front of the, we got the uh, projector. So I'm standing in front of the screen, like just rapping and going along with it. But then I was on Instagram and I was watching, I was seeing everyone was out at these Super Bowl parties. Would you rather when watching a halftime performance or something that big, would you rather be able to sing along or would you rather everyone shut the fuck up so we can listen to the performer because i was watching on the snapchats or the uh instagrams whatever and 
everybody was singing along and I was I was at home I was singing along for a little bit and I was like wait I'm supposed to be listening this is Riri like she sing way better than me so then I was like damn I don't know how I feel if I was out and about and watching the game and then there was a bunch of the girls that's the thing this is why I'm getting to where I'm getting to you had the Super Bowl party and there's a bunch of girls in the back they're singing their asses they ain't even watching the game but they here for Riri's concert everyone was joking y'all y'all here to see the football game around Riri's concert, you know, they were trying to make it seem like Rihanna's performance was first. And then they in the back were singing, singing, singing. I'm like, yo, I don't know if I would like that. Because I was at the crib, I started singing along, and I was like, wait, I need to shut up. Let her sing. Would you rather, like, watch the performance? I'm going to go back and rewatch it. It was dope. I thought it was cool. I think you guys raised the bar way too high on these people. Your expectations are too high for these people to perform. It's not fair. But uh, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the halftime show. Uh, would you rather Riri do it or would you like to sing along with it? I enjoy. I did sing along for some of it, but other songs I just was like, I'm going to let her do it. Like, I'm going to just enjoy the performance. That's what you rather. Just let me know what you think. And then story time. I got like a minute and a half. Uh, music about to start playing right now, um, is the NFL rigged? Are these sports games rigged? Because there's a call that everyone is upset about. Juju Smith, he, the holding call, where the ball wasn't even really playable, catchable. But he ran a route, and the guy kind of grabbed him a little bit. And this happens every play. But this time, it was third down or whatever. And then they threw the ball. I could be wrong. I don't know what down it was. But either way. Patrick Mahomes threw the ball where Juju kind of should have, would have been, and he wasn't there, and they tried to throw the flag and say that he was being held, and it's, I don't know, man, I don't, I, I wouldn't call that a holding, is it, I, I'm not going to say rigged, but I, I do feel like these calls, too many calls are determining these games, and I hate it by the ref. But what I think I'm going to do next season, what I will do, not think, what I will do, I watch Ravens games, like, I lock in and watch these Ravens games. I'm going to start doing write-ups on what happens, because there was multiple games this season where the Ravens, we got some bogus play calls, the penalties called and stuff, and I just, I'm going right up, because when by the end of the season, we look back, we just see wins and losses, we don't really know, but, and I, I watch too much, too many games, I forget my memory, I play a lot of football, CTE maybe, who knows, but my memory ain't the best, and I forget, or I might remember, oh, that was a game where there was a bad call, but I can't, like, really point out the exact call, so I'm going to start doing write-ups next season and just go into detail on my opinions on the game as it goes along, because I watch all my Ravens games every week. I'm not missing that, and then I watch the other games around it, but, um, I went past the time. We still going to stop this before eight and a half minutes. Uh, that's episode 58, Player One Podcast. Appreciate y'all. Leave comments, all that good stuff. Uh, feedback. What would you think about the Rihanna concert? Would you rather the people be quiet and let her perform, or would you rather be able to sing along? That's a fair question. Not everyone's the best at singing. We know this. If we all was, we'd all be up next to do the next performance, you know? So let me know. Feedback is much appreciated. Shortest episode ever, under nine minutes. We did it. Let's go.